I've elected to what I'm going to serve, how I'm going to serve, where I'm serving it from, where I'm serving it to, what length, what speed, how I want my opponent to return the ball. Now the final part of it is I'm trying to dictate what I want my opponent to do to the serve, i.e. one, direction, two, not too bothered about because I can't really dictate how he's going to play that ball. Some people are very good at flicking short serves, heavy backspin serves. Some people are not. That will come in the process of the game. Or indeed if I actually played the player many times before and I know his weaknesses and his strengths. So some people can flick backspin, some people can't. Some people can drive backspin, some people can't. That comes with experience. So in the main I'm not really too bothered about what he does. What I am concerned about is try to get the person I'm playing against to put the ball in the area that I want it to be. And those are the points that we really should be concerning ourselves before we actually get into the process of serving the ball. When I used to play, right, I very usually used short serves, short serves and very rarely used that. Because my game was short pimples, back on the forearm, punching. And I wanted them to come up with a second ball punching that ball to me. But it was in an area I served it to that it wouldn't beat me. If I, if I served to the centre of the table, right, and you play the ball back to me, the ball, if you go to my down, if you, if you play the ball diagonally to my forehand, you'll see that with very little movement, I can cover that ball. Can you see? Now, if you try to bring the ball back to my backhand side, right, if I serve it to there, and you bring it back to my backhand side, I'm in the position to play the shot. I can't be beat at an angle from the serve that I've delivered it to. So that's what I used to try and concentrate on. So I would get you to play the ball in the area. That's what my aim is. What I, I won't bother what you did. Because if you pushed it, I'd topspin it. If you made a muck up of it, I'd kill it. But if you drove it, I'd punch it. And my game was punching to the angle. So that's why the, serve, the placement of the serve was vital to me. Right? You, and if you went fast, leave it. If you went faster to my forearm, which you can do now, get a serve there, got there. I can still beat you because it's coming where I want it to go and it's not going to beat me. It's not going to come away from the angle so I have to reach for it because you can't get that angle from where you're serving it from. You can from there, but you can't from there. So the important point is that we're trying to make when we're actually delivering the serve is we've decided what we're going to do, where we're going to do it from, where we're going to do it to, how we're going to do it, what we're going to achieve in terms of length and speed. I'm now trying to get the opponent to dictate the angle where he's going to return the ball. How he returns it, I can't guarantee that, but I'm not really bothered about it. What I am bothered about is making sure that he's been ready mentally to move physically to counter the line that he's chosen. And if I keep to these nine or ten points that we've been talking about, and over and over and over, practice mentally as well as physically, we have a very good chance of achieving what we set out to do. In an understanding, of what is required to serve. Again, repeat, the technical aspects of serving now is very complicated. We may or may not touch that in later episodes, but this is the understanding every player at all levels should be thinking about. There should be no run, rushing to the table and serving willy-nilly. It should be thought controlled. The opponent should bear no role in dictating how fast you play, whether you are serving or whether you are receiving. If you're not ready to play mentally, put your hand up. As long as it's not gamesmanship, you allow yourself the maximum opportunity to perform. And you can't do that if you're mentally not prepared. It doesn't matter whether you're playing the world champion or whether you're playing the worst player in your division. Your application to the game of table tennis should be exactly the same. And it should be bear no difference to the standard that you're playing at.